We are flying over the Atlantic Ocean, very close to the Arctic Circle. This is one of the world's largest islands. is also one of the world's newest. In fact, it's still being made. The land is growing all the time. It is growing sideways. The two sides of the island are spreading apart by two centimeters every year. And it is growing upwards. New land is being thrown up out of the sea and onto the land by violent volcanoes. A few million years ago, all that was here was sea. But under the sea, a large crack opened up and poured out lava. The lava built up layer upon layer of rock until these layers formed an island. Most of the lava has now cooled. Seeds have been either blown here by the wind or dropped here by birds. Plants have grown and people have come. And they call the island Iceland. The Earth's crust is very thin here, and the hot mud and volcanoes are heated from inside the Earth. But why is the centre of the Earth so hot? Today scientists believe that the Earth was formed about 5,000 million years ago from a huge swirling mass of dust. As the particles collided, they heated up and joined together to form a new planet. This hot planet slowly cooled on the outside, but it stayed hot in the middle. This is partly because there are radioactive particles at the center of the Earth, which still produce a lot of heat. The center of the Earth is about 4,000 degrees centigrade. Over millions of years, the thin crust in the Earth cooled even more. Gases turned into water and made the oceans, clouds, and rain. Today in Iceland, when it rains, the water seeps through cracks and holes and moves down into the earth and rocks. Because the crust is very thin here, the hot rocks are very close to the surface. As the water reaches these rocks, they heat the water up. Some of this water is turned into steam. The steam is lighter than the water and rises upwards. This crater is called Geysir. The hole is over 20 meters deep. As you can see, it's full of water at the moment.
this place is so famous that now all water volcanoes are called geysers. Six minutes later and... And in six minutes time it will do it again. Why does it erupt so regularly? Another question for the scientists. They believe that all this area was once a huge volcano. At one time, it must have erupted so violently that the cone collapsed into a huge flat crater. Underground, it would look like this. Cracks and caverns that are heated up by what is left of the old volcano. So let's look more closely at one of these cracks or holes. As the rainwater seeps down, it fills up the holes and caverns. The deeper it goes, the hotter it gets. Until some of the water gets so hot that it boils like water in a pressure cooker. The steam moves upwards and pushes the water in the hole up with it. At the surface, some of the water spills out. Now there is less water in the hole. Less water means less pressure. With less pressure, the water in the hole boils at a lower temperature. This turns it into steam. All at once. And the hole is emptied 25 meters into the air. Then the hole fills up with water and it does it all over again. Icelanders live in a cold country, and yet there is steam and water vapor everywhere. Some of the lakes are so warm that you can swim in them even in winter. About 60 years ago, someone had the idea of putting this hot water to good use. Iceland is Europe's largest grower of bananas. This greenhouse is heated by natural hot springs. And if you can heat greenhouses, why not heat homes? Hot radiators without the cost and pollution of burning oil, coal and gas. But the geysers and hot springs aren't always in convenient places. Today, a quarter of a million people live in Iceland, and they require a lot of energy for their houses and industry. This is the capital city, Reykjavik. It is the only city in the world that runs a heating system solely on natural hot water. The Icelanders have controlled the enormous power of the heat beneath their feet in some very clever ways. An 
Icelandic power station. It sits right on top of a hot spring. The water in this power station is hot, but not so hot that it boils. The clouds you can see are water vapor and not steam. This natural hot water is so clean that it can be piped straight into people's homes. The city has a system of hot water pipes which run under the streets and through people's houses. The hot water is also used in washing machines, showers and the city's swimming pools. There is a lot of underground heat energy in Iceland. The problem is that some of it is far too powerful and dangerous to use. Imagine having lava in your radiators. But the Icelanders are used to living with volcanoes. They have now built two power plants that lie in active volcanic areas. The underground water here is so hot that it comes to the surface as superheated steam. This 250 degrees volcanic steam can contain colored minerals such as yellow sulfur. Shower in this and you would not only be scalded, but poisoned. So what do they do with the steam? They use it to spin turbine wheels to make electricity. This electricity is sent by wires to the less dangerous parts of the island where people live. Although Iceland's hot water and steam are sources of natural energy, they are not truly renewable. One day these hot water mines could be used up. So the scientists have come up with another solution. They have found a way of making an artificial geyser. First they drilled two deep holes in the ground. Next they drop explosives down the holes and blow up the rock underground. This smashes the rock up into cracks and caverns. Cold water is pumped down one of the holes into the cracks of the rock. The water heated by the rock returns to the surface. The power station makes electricity with the steam and pumps the cooled water down the hole again. Not so much fun as a natural geyser, but very useful if you live on a cold island. Iceland is a very beautiful and clean country. The people of Iceland produce only one thousandth of their country's energy by burning fossil fuels. Everything else is from natural reserves, either water power or the heat beneath their feet.